Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Let's Play. Today, you'll notice we are doing a very special game. Uh, we are doing an arcade, uh, and this is more than just a game. This is called, uh, let me show you here, it's on this fancy here sign, New Retro Arcade Neon. There are two different actual uh, arcade, we'll say, styles, but what's really cool about this is every every arcade machine you can change. You can uh, put in your favorite music, uh, if you got YouTube videos that crack you up, um, you know, we all like certain YouTube videos, maybe ones that you watch daily, have them in here. Um, there's a little theater on one of them. Uh, we're going to start with Classic, and we're doing a whole feature on that. The next one we're going to do is Neon. Um, now, I'm going to show you guys here. The Stock Arcade comes with some playable games, but uh, it does not feature ROMs. Don't ask for that sort of thing, you guys. That's common sense here. Come on. You get that stuff on your own. You deal with it on your own. Um, the forums do have a whole art uh, section, so make sure you guys check the sub forum for this game for cabinet artwork, um, which is alright. Um, and don't ask for ROMs there either, guys. That's, again, common sense, you know. You, you, you either find that stuff on your own or you don't, whatever. Um, I will say I have set up my own little arcade for this feature. Um, and I will say even the bare bones walking around when I first started this got me so into it that I was distracted enough to play a few games of ski ball and some bowling and uh, kind of ignore the rest of it. The rest are right off the bat. So there are fun things to do. And this is a VR ready title. This is a multiplayer title. And this works with or without VR, guys. So if you're not a fan of VR, you still want to play this with your friends on Steam. You get yourselves a copy, they get a copy. You still have a lot of fun. You can chill out and watch movies together because um, this does local files along with other ones. Let's take a look here. Uh, at what I'm talking about. So again, that's tomorrow. This is tonight. <clears throat> um, now, due to copyright reasons here, um, I did not change any of the music. Normally, I would be bumping some mystery skills in here. Um, and I also want to say what's cool is you can see already how these machines are just gorgeous looking. And we're going to play a few, don't worry. I just wanted to walk you around here. Um, you can actually even change the posters, guys. This game is basically your dream arcade come to life. You you make it. You decide what you want this to be. Every, every picture, that's of course drawn, which is great, Derek Wayne. Um, I will be probably popping Monster Squad in there. A favorite 80s movie of mine. There's some darts. Lots of stuff. Extra little consoles and stuff laying around. Some music. Uh, that you can see different cassette tapes. You can edit the cassette tapes if you guys would like. And it's as easy as just walking right up here, popping one in, uh, letting one play if you wanted to, and, you know, they got a bunch of this stuff. So, listen. Um, listen to this program on Radionomy.com or our free apps available on So you can hear we got some different Drawing stuff right off the bat to start with. Um, how hard is it to play things? Not very. I'm probably going to be horrible at this, but let's throw a dart in. I do a dart at the well. Um, there is also another thing that I love about this game, and that is the ability to just toss stuff. You can just grab stuff and toss it. So if you got a multiplayer game you're playing with your buddy, uh, you guys are bored of just feeling kind of like uh, assholes and scooping around, you can just toss stuff. Uh, around the place. Look at how bad I am at darts today, guys. Um, everywhere but the board, am I right? And I'm sober, so there is no excuse for this, guys. Yahtzee, there we go. Um, I want to talk to you all, though, because this reminds me a little bit of a arcade I grew up in. Uh, not in, but playing things on. Um, and as you can see there, I have, I have Put a few YouTube videos up in these. 
Um, and I'll show you one of them in a minute. But I do want to share the fact that I think arcades are one of the great uh, bringers of joy because growing up, man, I grew up in the Atari era, right? I'm going to shoot some hoops while I do this. I am horrible at shooting hoops. <laughs> Only I could do that, guys. Although I feel like that kind of cinches me in here. Nothing but net. Because I basically uh, screwed up the rest of Now, if uh, an old buddy of mine were here, he would have thrown that ball at my head. Tell me to knock it off. But you can see we got some stuff going on here. And I would like to say that this uh, system uh, actually handles Neo Geo titles quite well. Uh, something that is not easy to do for... Uh, Years ago, I want to say, I saw a pretty shoddy attempt at a, a walk-in emulator, but it was nothing like this. And look at this. So, you and your friend can go bowling. You got your own private bowling alley. I killed that, didn't I? Let's do another, guys. And what I love is this is like the, the glow bowling here. Um, I worked at a bowling alley in real life for a while. Anyways, so I grew up in Warren, Michigan. And we used to play uh, at a place called Wizards. Now, I had only played the Atari as a kid, and my older brother, of course, like most older brothers in the 80s, hung out at other cool places, the malls, the arcades, and the arcades. The first time I went, I, I honestly, guys, thought I had just gone to heaven. That was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. So when I saw this come out, I thought, are you kidding me? I get to make my own arcade. Um, now there is a slight learning curve involved with some of this stuff, but what's great is that the forum is very helpful. There's a Discord with people who help. Um, and like I said, there's a bunch of people who will help you do artwork. We are going to dive into into the actual uh, gaming area. Now why did I pick Classic? Um, it's a little cozy. I like it. It reminds me a lot, like I said, of my childhood. Um, and if you know me at all, you know I'm big on nostalgia. Again, let's just toss this somewhere. Where should we toss it? Let's go look for a place to throw this. That's because it is absurdly uh, goofy. Let's see. Right in the <laughs> We've pulled with cigarettes today. We have done it. I'm, go I'm going again on this one. This, uh... Damn. Thought I had that better. You know what? We're going to... <laughs> Dude, of course. Uh, I gotta tell you guys, man, this thing is fun. Um, again, now, you'll notice MST3K on a lot of these. I'm a huge MST3K fan, Mystery Sensor 3000. Those of you who do not know, most of you do know. Um, busy signal. Throw it on the ground. Um, I love though that this is so customizable. We're even going to do a feature just about the actual customizer because there's so much guys you can do. I mean, I'm not kidding you. There's a ton. Every one of these cabinets. You don't like this cabinet? You don't like this game? And like I said, when you start, you do not have these licensed titles. This was, a, you know, um, there's actually one that I'm going to swap out in here already. Um... It's true. Uh, this one here was not one of my favorites growing up. This one is going to be swapped out, and this is a labor of love for me with Rampage. You know Rampage. Um, it's ironic it's getting a movie now, isn't it? But uh, Rampage is going to go there. Um, oh, God. Of course, Outrun is just awesome. Paperboy. Uh, let, let's start off with this one, guys. One of my favorites. Growing up, this was uh, this was not at Wizards. This was, I think, a Chuck E. Cheese title, and then uh, near movie theater. Listen, listen, are you ready? Listen to how perfect that sound is, and you see the scan lines are already there. The screen has a small reflection. Are you nostalgic yet? You should be. Um, now, I have mine mapped out differently, but you can actually remap the keys as well. The most important thing for anybody who does arcading. Because um, let's be honest, we all like different things. Um, they even help with controller support. 
Oh, you ain't kidding me, buddy. You are not kidding me. Um, don't worry, though. We're also going to show you some of the other stuff I have in this. Yeah, they're coming, did he not? Yeah, they're coming. Um, what, this was, to me, one of the best turtle games ever made. As far as mutant turtles. As I said, I was a total 80s kid, so, I mean, come on. Wisecracking ninjas that ate pizza? Those are three things I liked right there. Wisecracks, which were in almost every 80s movie. Pizza, which was really happening in the 80s. No one was self-conscious. Let's be honest. Nobody, nobody was self-conscious in the 80s to the degree that they are now, man. No one talked about kale. Everybody was all chowing down pizza. Um, Domino's, you remember, avoid the noid. Um, Little Caesars, back when they had pretty good ingredients, actually. I'm not saying they're bad now, actually. They're, they're Little Caesars, let's be honest, since we're playing a pizza-related game, has stepped it up quite a bit here. Um, but you can see the fluidity, and if you look at the cabinet, guys, look at the stick moving. Look at the buttons pressing. You can't get a more authentic experience. I've never seen one. Um, I told you guys, I started gaming at the dawn of the console gaming era, and even early computer era, and Commodore 64. Uh, I was around for all that stuff. Um, I was around for the first first person shooters, you know? And let me just tell you, this, this thing is incredible. If you told me I'd be able to play this, and again, um, this is VR ready. Um, there are ways around and not being able to use, and you can uh, look up YouTube videos, guys, on how to use um, Google Cardboard even with this. There are people who have done it. So if you can't handle a Vive or an Oculus, there's still other ways. Um, I myself will be, <laughs> I'm sure, I will be hooking up my Google Cardboard because my phone lets uh, it's VR ready to this puppy and enjoying this extensively. Um, God, I'm doing horrible. I'm not doing his jump attacks or anything. What is wrong with me? I'll tell you what's wrong with me because I'm just frankly geeked. Um, I actually years ago almost got one of these uh, machines. There was an arcade owner who was getting ready to go out of sale. Uh, I got outbid by 50 bucks for this very machine right here, or I would still have this today. Are you kidding me? I, I was obsessed with it. I really was. Um, come on, after that shredder creep. Um, but no, I think this one was a lot of fun. You can see Moon Patrol back there. We're going to show you Space Invaders in a minute. Um, now, mind you, the Classic versus Neon, I love a lot. Um, I like that they've done that, and I'll tell you why. To me, this one is definitely a cozy experience. Um, like I said, the arcade was Wizards on 8 Mile. I still remember that. And it was a great arcade. Um, it had Dragon's Lair. It had a few other games. It uh, had Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, and Tron. Being able to chill out and play Tron like that, which at the time was hopping, because that movie just came out. Um, you know, and that's that's what you did back then. Instead of the internet and Facebook, you actually went out in that thing called the real world. And arcades were a great social pastime that we all engaged in. You know, me and all my friends would go and uh, do random things. We had a buddy who did a paper route. I was the lawnmower kid. You know, that was my thing. I would mow everybody's lawns. Uh, and I was pretty good with doing random work, too. Like painting, hammering things in, um, repairing small things I could do. So I, I got uh, I got pretty, pretty decent with all that. Um, I also want to draw attention, if I may, to this very, very retro-looking... Hmm, I'm just obsessed with drawing things now. I don't know why. Um, I gotta show you guys how smoothly this thing handles a Neo Geo. Some of you know Metal Slug series, which may seem like, you know, oh, well, it should go easy. Uh, I've seen some things that have trouble with, with, without trying to dog them. 
I have seen some things that have trouble running Metal Slug, but I want you to look at the smoothness here and speed of the ass whoopery we are about to unleash in Metal Slug. Um, and if you know anything about Neo Geo, you're a Metal Slug fan. I'm almost guaranteeing it. I don't know anybody that likes Neo Geo that does not like Metal Slug, at least one of them. Whether you're Metal Slug X, Metal Slug 3, or Original. Um, 2 is good. I like 2-2. Two, two. I like 2-2. Two, two. It didn't come out right good, guys. But I will say that out of all of them, I was a huge fan of the Original and X. Um, which, if I remember right, was X just basically a redone version of 3 with a different character in it? Um, the hand-drawn animation in Metal Slug was lovingly done. Um, what you're going to see about the other arcade tomorrow, I've got a real creep for you guys there too, because I'm also going to be using a different uh, layout here when it comes down to this stuff. So maybe some different games I'll feature for you guys. Um, I would just like to say though, please guys be responsible with this stuff. Do not go and, uh, you know, don't be asking for rounds, all that stuff. Uh, I've said it a few times, but I'm driving it home because I, I myself find it annoying. Um, and if you ask me, I'm going to tell you the same thing. I, mean, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> Uh, and for the record, I actually do have a Neo Geo packed away. And that son of a bitch was very expensive. Uh, I got it off a guy who owed someone money, and at the end of the day, ended up uh, playing me in uh, some CeeLo for it and lost. And he had to pay that up. And if I would have lost, then I would owe him about $600. So, um,. And if that is not an exaggeration, and if you know anything about Neo Geo's history, you know that. Neo Geo was the first console that had arcade quality games that were just that, arcade quality, right out of the box. Now, I'm not saying that other systems weren't like that. Let's be honest here. PlayStation did a gorgeous job with Tekken. Um, even 3 was just monstrously close to the... Uh, arcade port and well done on their part. But I just want to put out here that when it comes down to the grandmasters of these games, you all, you all know who it is. You know, you got the Konamis, you got all these other ones, and oh god, I forgot about this beast here. I think I'm about to get my ass whooped really seriously, you guys. Now, say you want to change something in a game, you, you, uh, like a real arcade. You have dip switches here. F2, ta da! So there you go. Um, and that, I think that is awesome that they have done that, frankly. So, yeah, everything is accounted for, you know? Um, so we can get out of the dip switch thing too, let it go back. Now let's, let's walk away from the game. When you're done, just walk away, baby. Um, what do y'all want to see? You know what we're going to go do? I promised you guys earlier, so let's get back to it. And I'm sorry if I'm a little hyper. I've had some coffee tonight. Uh, I was actually falling asleep a little bit earlier. Um, but I do not sleep until I am done with what I say I'm going to do. This is a little surprise for you if you didn't get to read that VHS tape. You guys are going to love this. On YouTube, you can't take this down because this is up on YouTube for free. So let's watch a moment or two of this together, shall we? Just enjoy. Look at how... And I'm going to tell you something. Everything you play on this TV has these scan lines and that slight glow. Give it that great 80s feel. But because of what this movie is, it fits in perfect. I mean, look at that, guys. I didn't, and right near an arcade, guys. Come on. You need... This, in your arcade, when you get this, I recommend doing this movie, and you will see that this is actually really easy to do. Um, I was actually overthinking it when I first started to do these. It's much easier to do than you think. 
but we'll get to that when we get to the future that shows you how I do what I do. But I'm actually going to start with a blank arcade for that one. We're going to make one together in that feature, and I'm going to show you uh, how that works. So, the first time ever, you guys will get a great look at a behind the scenes of something like this, because it is one of the features. And uh, there's even a guide to help you guys with this, along with the Discord channel, when it comes down to doing things as simple as adding these, all that. And if you guys don't know and you've never seen this, this movie is called Kung Fury. Uh, it was on Kickstarter. It was going to be an hour long. They're actually making Kung Fury 2, the movie. So it is getting made now, with people like Arnold Schwarzenegger in it, and uh, Michael Fassbender, and Mr. Kung Fury himself there. <laughs> he just crushes the thumb. Just crushes it, one hand. Um, you know you're an action star when you can shoot your car with a bullet to get the door open. That and look at the arcade robot flipping off the dog. It doesn't kill it yet. It's got to add insult to injury. Um, but no, I mean, this is one. Now, the Neon Arcade has a much bigger screen. So, if you got a bunch of friends you want to uh, have there, you can actually take it all the way to the big screen. Now, this isn't a fault of uh, this game, actually. This is in this movie just like this where they've added in cutscene tracking, all that stuff. Uh, so, okay, you're done with the movie, now what do you do? You just hit a jump, man. It's that fast. Uh, and because this is your theater, you make the rules, or your theater, your arcade, you make the rules, so let's just toss this shit. Just us, right? What do we got here? Ah, uh, this is Reefer Madness, another one that is public domain by now. This used to be considered a real educational program. They really believed that people on uh, pot became complete another psychopaths. So but again you will see the difference. Um, apparently a studio cut off color films has uh, re re restored this one. But this is in the public domain. Don't let them fool you. So if you ever want to throw this on at a party or something, you can find it on archive, I believe. It is a free Thing. Speaking of which, archive streaming uh, films work with this thing. So how cool is that, guys? Um, now, I didn't download any of these to my computer to put these up on this. Just straight link to the actual video. Uh, wrote the thing. The VHS tape did the rest, and it became a physical object in the world that I could mess with. And uh, that's how it worked, you know? So you can... I'm going to skip ahead a little. Motion picture work to witness may startle you. It would not have been possible otherwise. It's sufficiently emphasized the frequent toll which the new drug menace is destroying the youth of America alarmingly. Um, ironically, this fits well in an arcade because I remember, uh, I want to say, back in the day, there was a huge panic when Atari became so widely known that, oh, it's going to destroy you, it's going to destroy you. Um, and of course, we'll show you just a quick clip or two of one more, another public domain movie. Yes, it is a public domain movie. Uh, Night of the Living Dead. The original. Uh, obviously, I can't show you the whole thing, because the nudity, and it's long, and I'm not going to make y'all sit here and stare at a TV screen on your YouTube for that long. But say you're bored one night, you want to place uh, an arcade, you got your own arcade, guys. I cannot say this enough how amazing this is because the ambience. I don't even have a head, I don't have my headphones in, I don't have any of this. And you got that going, you look around you, you order yourself a pizza. I mean, it's you're there, you know, it's a great job. Um, to the team that did this, man, kudos. Kudos to you guys. This is an incredible thing. Uh, I've had a chance to talk with the developers. Super nice. Um, very active with the community. And I always say that when they are because of the fact that, and I've said it before in other Let's Play videos, I think it's vital. 
the greatest thing about the internet gaming community is that when you find a good developer who actually gives a shit about us gamers, you know it. And I'm going to tell you guys, they give a shit about us gamers. They go out of their way. I was sitting in there in a Discord earlier and watching uh, this small team help people left and right, left and right, left and right. Never rude, no matter how many times the same question was asked. Always helpful. You don't get that. Let me tell you. I've dealt with some very rude developers in my day. Um, I don't want to name names, because I try to be classier than that, but you'd be surprised. Some, some bigger companies have been far less nice. Uh, so let's hear it for companies like this that want to help you all, alright? Um, even this alone, I know uh, companies that would want to charge you money for this alone, just this. Um, as a matter of fact, um, if you've used VR apps, you know. Especially, like, um, Google Cardboard. There are video player apps, and they do. They try to charge you money just for that. So that is included in your arcade. I mean, you, you want to play uh, the old Game Boy, you get, you get yourself some stuff for that. You get all sorts of stuff here. Um, more stuff up here. All this is changeable. All this is moddable. Every single bit of this, guys, is moddable. I kid you not. I kid you not. Um, you have to forgive my aim today. It's not the best, but yes, so... Dun dun dun. Um, there is your company, Digital Cyber Cherries. Um, amazing, amazing guys here. Class Act has done a great job with things, I think. Um, <coughs> forgive me, guys. Um, I, I really think this code is just never leaving me I'm pretty convinced. Um, now, I do not believe I have set these up yet, so we're just going to walk away from this right now. But what is this little beauty? I shit you not, workable etch sketch y'all. Workable etch a sketch. He thought I was kidding you. No, I'm not. I'm just tool around with it. This thing is amazing. And the best part is no cleanup. When you're done uh, with your arcade for the day, just leave. That's it. You go over to the arcade machine that controls the menu and you leave it. And it is that easy, guys. Um, I kid you not. Now what about uh, deciding what else you want to do? Boom. Oh my god, what did I do there? i tell you what I did there. I dropped it. <laughs> Sorry. I can even pick up the radio if I want. We're not going to do because I'm busy throwing the soft drinks. A uh, little trash can over here. I threw this once and it's good enough to throw again. Yahtzee! Got it in there. Did it. Don't make it that's what she said joke, guys. Let's be bigger than that today. Um, but they even include the pizza, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, neat little cassette tapes here. Now you can, as I say, even control the music. Say you got jams that you like a lot. Put them on in here. Put them all in here. Um, this is your arcade. I cannot tell you enough. Every poster in here. Change it. You know? You got stuff you want in here? Put it in here. It's that easy. Um, there are tons of these things that I, I like about this. I'm just walking around, slapping tapes on in this thing. Um, Ghosts and Goblins. We got Defender. Oh. I know you racing fans out there really want to see Joust, so we're going to do Joust. If you're not Joust, uh, someone's going to kill me for that one. Uh, come on now. You know I got to have Splash Wave. You know, amateur. I really am an amateur. Room. 
because of my phone, which I haven't played Outrun in ages since they had this really Sega. I used to play this at the arcade and crash spectacularly. I'm great at crashing in games, you'll see. Um, I've said it in other Let's Plays, I'm the worst driver you all will ever see in a game. Ever. Ever. You'll never see a worse driver than me in a game. Um, <laughs> Come on, man! Damn truck. I slowed down for half a second. Um, no, but I mean, again, it's the... <laughs> Dude, my insurance ain't covered. I like that the chick just gets back up, too. Like, eh, alright, I'm still on this date. Most women would run. She'd be like, what is wrong with you? Why would you do that to me? And she would leave. Don't drive crazy in real life, people. Your date will not stay in the car, and if you go and go flying that way, you ain't having a good day. I know, game over. I suck at driving games, always have. That's a course map. You got more to look at, man. Joust, Defender, Paperboy, Space... Oh, we gotta be Space Invaders. I told you before, I'm an 80s person, right? Oh, and then Golden Axe. Oh, Golden Axe. Golden Axe, I have this love-hate relationship. I was a bigger fan of two. What do you guys think? Are you are you a two or one Golden Axe person? For me, it was about two. But, I mean, check this out. Now, if you can't hear the sound very well, again, as I've said in other videos, I do apologize. I do have uh, it turned down. It's not on its full capacity just because I somehow come across very quiet in our videos. So, because of that, I like to make sure that I, uh, man, this thing is crazy, that I am doing my very best to be heard. Oh, God. I forgot about him. Uh, but no, I mean, I grew up in a golden age, I think a golden age. I feel very fortunate that I grew up in the arcade era. And it was the arcade era, because while arcades are still a thing, now it's retro, you know. Um, what I like about this one is this feels to me like Wizards a lot. And I, guys, you don't even know, man. I used to save all of my hard-earned money to go to Wizards so I could hang out with my friends. Plus, I used to have a crush on this one girl who used to go there here and there. Um, although she was, like, in high school, so there was no chance. So I was a kid. It was an elementary school, but, you know, I dreamed. I dreamed. Um, but you know how it is. But no, man, I, I mean, I remember how amazed I was back in the day. It was just, you'd walk in there, and all of a sudden, it wasn't just a video game. It was the atmosphere. Everything that you would have known, everything you'd known, was right there. You know what I mean, guys? Everything. The sounds... The sights of it all, you can see Galaga over here. We're gonna do some golden axe. Um, winners don't use drugs, kids. This used to be in a, I wanna say late 80s movement. It really was. Um, and what happened was everybody thought, well, we'll just preach. Um, I don't know. I, I like him, but it's, I always toss between him and the, and the Gale. The Gale, her magic is just badass. I mean, you kind of can't, kind of can't beat a giant dragon doing flaming death to your enemies. That's, you know, this guy's stuff is measly compared to that. The dwarf's magic, of course, sucks, but he is a badass in his own right. Uh, Golden Axe works best with buddies, so again, uh, if you guys do end up doing multiplayer with some of these, um, and you should happen upon something like a Golden Axe, not a bad one, along with Rampage, personally. Um, get, would you quit kicking him, you dick? <laughs> He's just kicking him in the head, you me, take that, take that too. Like, come on, dude, don't do that. Um, but no, I mean, this is honestly remarkable to me. Um, <clears throat> and mind you, this is 
it, not even one tenth, one tenth of how uh, the stuff we can do. Like I said, I still got other things I plan to do, other sorts of games, uh, posters. Um, I mean, I'm 80 of mine up. The wizard's going in here. If you with Fred Savage, the wizard, you know the wizard man. The Power Glove advertisement, I should call it. The, the movie that basically dared to have the line, It's so bad. In relation to the Power Glove. Which they were right, it was very bad. It didn't do shit. But, um, I, you know, they fooled all of us. It looked cool. It looked like it did stuff. Um, it did not. Uh, although, kudos, Nintendo. You made a very cool looking glove that is still used today in cosplay the world over for. Um, God knows what, random things. Not to mention, they had, uh, uh, do you remember Captain N? There was a cartoon with a dude who, that's what he did. He was a guy who lived in the world of Nintendo, and like the, the guy from Icarus, Kid Icarus, he went, never played that one. Um, I was a Punch-Out guy myself. Punch-Out, Zelda, all that. And they'd have, like, these characters from all these together in Captain N. And he had a belt and the Nintendo Zapper and all that. And his belt had a power limit. So he had to, he could do all these great things with it, but he had to watch his power. Now, why am I not relying on my magic right now? Because uh, these guys are bitches and I'd rather save it for something tougher. Um, also, because you can put unlimited credits in here, I'm not going to bother. So if you've also had tough arcade games that have dro driven you nuts and you've always said, oh, I will beat that eventually, now is your chance. Get yourself this arcade. Um, do not ask where to find such things, but if you should, again, happen to find them, then there you go. Um, I would encourage you all to look up your local laws, of course, regarding ROMs and all that to make sure you're on the up and up. But even without any of that, as I said, you saw one of the games. Uh, in the other one you will see tomorrow, there is a whack-a-mole style game where you get to whack dinosaurs. There's Skee-Ball. Um, so you guys have some stuff you can do here. And again, we're playing a little time here, hanging out together in an arcade, talking about the 80s. Uh, what are some of my favorite movies from the 80s? I love Goonies, but I also love Monster Squad. Uh, I mean, it had monsters, and if you know me, you know I love monsters and horror in the 80s and all that. So definitely those two, because I think I was, you know, as a kid, they gave you hope you could just be a royal badass. You know what I mean? It was like... That kid did this, I can do that. Um, and the Monster Squad had one of the best dopey, like, cheesy tough guy lines ever. Which a kid insults the wolf man by saying, hey asshole. And then it looks at him and he wails it with a bat in the face and says, you looked. That and a, a guy, Rudy, the cool kid who uh, tries to take on the Three Brides of Dracula, and they're yelling at him, and he says, I'm in the goddamn club, aren't I? Classic. Um, Goonies, of course. I don't really even think I need to go into that much for you to understand how amazing that movie is. It's the freaking Goonies. Come on. Tons of good humor in it. Um, you know, Corey's little... Uh, explanation when he has to translate and does not translate and explains that the cocaine goes in the trap door and all that I used to have me dying as a kid. I used to think it was so funny. Um, obviously the Star Wars franchise as a kid blew me away. I never seen anything like that man. Uh, nobody had, you know, we didn't know how they did all that. And then it comes out it was all miniatures. And, you know, smoke and mirrors and just practical effects. Uh, which I wish Mr. Lucas would have done more of for the for the prequels. Yes, I went there. And look, it just let's not get on that. Um, Indiana Jones, of course. The consummate tough guy. Always had a wisecrack and amazing action. 
um, and just crazy adventures. He was a little bloody, but, you know, back then in the 80s, we weren't bitches. Uh, Revenge of the Nerds, for obvious reasons, I was a boy. I liked the nudity, um, and it was pretty funny. Um, I think, like I said, back then, it wasn't considered as weird. Like, you remember, um, National Lampoon's Vacation, and then the European Vacation, and all that. All of our family watched those, and nobody thought, like, oh, there are boobs, the kids can't see this. It was more like, you know, we were just told, all right, well, if you got questions about that, then you just ask, and we'll tell you. Um, anyways, now back to this here. Spend a little more time on this one than I probably should, but it's so dang fun. Uh, but as you can see, guys, the screen reflection adds to it. Um, I can only imagine how incredible this is going to look in VR. The answer is incredible. I know that. Um, because even... I gotta say it, even without VR, this has managed to do something I didn't think it could. And that said, I really do feel the atmosphere. I feel like I'm at an arcade right now. Um, and the more time you spend in this, the more that compounds. Because <laughs> we're going to see if we can... Well, oh, the beer bottle actually helped. Have a drink on me, eh? Hey, boys. It's a little ACDC humor for you all there. Oh, God. Okay, nobody talk about the gutter ball. This is also funny because I just went over the line, which I should know having worked at a bowling alley. Um, but as you can see, there are handheld systems. There are lots of these other systems around. You can tweak things. You can mess with things. Uh, now this here is a demo tape, but as you change stuff around, they get replaced with the things that you uh, you put in. Um, we're going to this one. Ah. Uh, I don't know why I'm like, ah, uh, I, I, I'm horrible at basketball. I was a hockey guy. Um, used to play ice hockey, played street hockey, did a bit of football here and there, but mainly hockey. Hockey was our thing in our family. Uh, we've even had a few hockey players who uh, have been on small time leagues in my family. Um, one who could have went big decided to do knock that off and go and get his college and learning and then uh, is now a family man to some wonderful kids so and this is the cool part too because this is your actual menu guys so you can do all that and like I said we're saving the other one for tomorrow because there is a lot of cool stuff that we're going to show you in it um, <clears throat> Like I said, you got these here, so you can put stuff in here. Um, and of course, mess with these, play with these, get these puppies on and working. Uh, I'm going to say right now, there's a lot of stuff that you can do in this game. And I don't want to... In case you're wondering what the heck I'm doing, I'm actually looking at the detail there. Look at the detail on the actual console here with the, the well fun and all that. And the and look, I wanted to show you because you can see it even in this. So those are the buttons. Check that out, guys. I mean, it's blew my mind, honestly. Uh, the level of love that goes into this is nuts. Um, and this is not... One of those things that eats your system up either, guys, so pretty impressive. Uh, I feel like I, I definitely want to show you guys some more stuff here. There's just a lot of stuff to see, isn't there? Um, what do you guys feel like seeing here, man? You want to... Let's see some Simpsons, of course. Used to love playing this one. Um, this one here, uh, my whole family... Well, me, my mom, and my dad, I'll say. Not my sister and brother, but us three, we play this. Uh, and my dad used to find The Simpsons pretty funny, so at the time he played it. Um, but I mean, again, look at how decent all this looks. 
I mean, it is, I know it's supposed to be arcade quality, but it is arcade quality. Um, <laughs> I forgot all about that. So it's pretty fun, I think. Um, and as I said, do make sure that you guys check this out. I'm going to have a link, of course, in the description. I always do. But this is probably one of the most highly recommended titles that I would recommend you get. Um, and I'm not just saying that, man. I mean, I, you make your green arcade. You can make your green arcade, guys. And I'll show you some neat stuff uh, with the editor when we do that video. Tomorrow, of course, we will be visiting the uh, Neon Arcade, which has a few more things, some bigger... Uh, bigger area overall. It's I think it's almost like this is small arcade, neon arcade. That room to me is like almost like a Chuck E. Cheese ish uh, party room arcade. You know what I mean? So you get some friends together. You're definitely going to want to throw them in the neon arcade. You get one friend. I'd say pick either. Both are a lot of fun. You get like three or four. I can see how the other arcade. Uh, would probably be good. Why would you hit Marge like that, you ass? She is an upstanding citizen with a vacuum. Um, I mean, you can see a lot of humor here in this game. I've always enjoyed that about it. Oh, I forgot about this dude. Forgot about him. You will not grab Marge. Marge is invincible. Marge is not invincible. You will not grab Marge. Um, I'm going to go on a limb here and say that if, uh, that whole pants falling thing is a small nod to King Hippo. Like I said, punch out. Anybody else think so? Um, no, there are some. I mean, guys, every arcade cabinet, the buttons, the attract screens, all changeable. I'm not kidding you. Um, I want you to think for a moment about the concept of having all your favorite video games. All your favorite videos and one program that you get to just goof around with whenever you want. You can't sleep, you got insomnia one night, you got a stressful day, whatever the situation you need to pick me up, this is a great pick me up. Um look at this. You work it, Marge, you work it, you've earned that shit. I can't even tell you all. How amazing this is. Uh, I mean, I'm showing you, but quite honestly, you honestly, you really have to experience this for yourself to get the full, full thing. And I love the lighting on the neon sign here. Um, it's just really cool, man. So I believe when you start, you start down here, of course, as we did. Walk on around this way, and voila! Let me just look, take a look at looking around the room and that atmosphere. Um, I also actually really dig how they did things like Urge instead of Surge and all that. Um, and as you can see, there have been some personalizations. Some have not happened yet. Eventually all these posters will be filled with 80s movies that I like. Um... Like I said, I this one cracked me the hell up, Raylian. Uh, if you cannot see, you can... What was it? If you cannot see, you cannot read. Something like that, I, I believe. Uh, obviously, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Told y'all. Not that I recall. I'm uh, probably thinking of leaving that one as it is. I've definitely seen this poster before. Are you sure you haven't? Not that I recall. Uh, so... <laughs> That one does crack me up a little. Um, if you know me, you know I like weird humor. I'm a, I'm a Lemon Demon fan, if you have ever heard his music. Um, I'm, I'm thirsty for Cherry Pepsi, actually, but it's like 11 p.m. where I am. Uh, and I have a busy day tomorrow. Um, we're actually doing the second video of this tomorrow. Um, this will be a three-parter series, by the way, guys. Looking to do three parts here for you, so yeah, that'll be fun. Um, and I don't mean that sarcastically, I mean that will actually be fun. Um, I myself am really looking forward to it because 
I'm curious to see what you guys think of the uh, different arcades and stuff that you guys like about them. Dude, that is so badass. I'm sorry, I was, uh... uh this game used to blow my freaking mind back in the day. I sank so much money in this game back in the day when I was at Chuck E. Cheese. Um, I, I played this and Tron a lot. Um, now, if you don't remember, Berserk had a unique feature that was a voice chip. A synthesizer, if you will, guys, that made things talk, which was revolutionary at the time. Um, I, it, it hadn't, it had not been done. I also forgot about the effing bouncing thing. Um, but no, it was crazy, crazy. Um, because the other games just did not have that, that chip, that digital chip. Um, I used to actually remember the name of it, even, because, um, we'll just say for a while, I, I was, oh, I get to enter my initials. Sweet. It will be... B. A. Bones and Gary. Gary? Bag? I should have thought of that a little more before I put it in. <laughs> bag. That's great. Bones and Gary spells bag. I need to have a talk with Gary about this. Now suddenly I feel like maybe I should have, uh, you should have imagined me with a different name. Maybe I will be Bones and, uh, and Mr. Yeah, I will be Mr. Tuck. Uh, Gauntlet, it was a classic as well. Um, surely you all know it. Do you? Do you all know it? You should know it. Um, do, 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 do. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I, I've been really enjoying actually just even seeing a little controller we want to I think it just lends to the game. Do you know what I mean? It feels more... Holy shit, I forget. See, did you hear that? Um, but no, look at how perfectly this emulates everything. Now, as I said before, this does not come... I know. I just forgot. It's been a while. Um, now, as I said, this does not come with ROMs. Um, there are freeware ROMs, I believe, and open arcade setup. If you want a little taste when you first get this until you get better at making your own of some freeware things that you can use and uh, mess with and tinker with screens and arcades. This is great for the casual gamer or the hobbyist gamer who really wants to make something unique um, that's their own. I, I myself will certainly be keeping this uh, in my rotation of things that are on my computer. Um, and you better believe eventually this puppy is going to be a haven of goofy and weird games. Um, there are even Zephyr games, so yes, the light games are in this, uh, that you can make. Um, you need help with it, the guide is great for that sort of thing. I'm just kind of walking you guys through, we're going to do a little more bowling, actually. The bowling is kind of addictive, I'm not going to lie here, it's, uh, come, come on. Shit, I thought I had that guy, I really did. But again, you will see how much of this is actually uh, changeable. It's it's remarkable, man. This is literally the game if you love arcades. This is the game you should be getting. If you like classic gaming, this is the game you should be getting. If you like um, anything retro, the hell are you waiting for? You should be buying this. Pause this video, click the link below, get the game. You will thank me. Um, I can't even tell you enough good things about this that have just blown my mind, man. And that's without the VR. Um, that's without the multiplayer. I've already been having a blast. Um, 
Bellini, I, I know a few other people who own this, and they have went nuts over it as well. Um, and so I will definitely be inviting some of my buddies sometime to do a multiplayer of this. And I might, you know, do a fourth video that's just some multiplayer craziness. I want to get my arcade set up the way I want, and I'll show it off to uh, all, of our, all of our viewers. Um, and we'll see if we can have this featuring some of my buddies. Um, and have them on and play. Oh, that is a bad split. Um, fun fact, by the way, did you know bowling alleys? I love that they have oil on this here. And you can see that it's a streak and all that. There are people uh, called Floor Boys, we used to be called. Uh, when I worked at a bowling alley, and we get this big map type thing. Think of a Swiffer, basically. That's what it looks like. What we're doing is we're evening the oil on the lane. And now, league bowlers used to bitch at me constantly about this and claim that, oh, well, man, I hit the oil just right. I was just starting to hit the sweet spot of what I'm doing. No, you're not. It's, uh, I, I don't care. I've, I've argued this with bowlers all the time. Um,. Advice for bowlers, do not yell at the mechanic, by the way. I, the mechanic at most bowling alleys, uh, first of all, the wheel that goes around these, those pins go flying out. Um, I saw one of my coworkers get his uh, shin hit with one of them and just snapped. Um, so that was a hospital visit. Um, but no, so the mechanic... He, if he's going to get your ball unstuck, be nice. Most pro bowlers spend an exuberant amount for the balls they use. These are some nice balls. Should not have said that. It was dead, bad context. But, uh, but no, and I mean, let's talk about this for a minute. Because I haven't even mentioned this. The physics on the bowling alley are correct. As somebody who has worked at one, I can tell you, this is pretty, pretty fluid. And I'm just literally pressing one mouse button, aiming, and clicking. And just that easy on bowing. No pull back, pull forward. Uh, I'll be frank, I, I fucking hate those, man. I do not like those. Um, those, are my, those are my scores. Look at them hitting up both lanes. I'm, I'm bowling myself. And if you think that's an nerdy, at least I'm not the guy who's rock, paper, and scissoring. Rock, you know what? Never mind. I was about to go to a very dark joke. Um, not dark, but just raunchy. Boom. Now, yeah, no, but honestly, guys, you, you can pretty much do anything when it comes down to that stuff. Let's, uh, you know, we're going to actually have a look here at the demo. Real, why not? Why not? Um, give you a little sneak peek of things. So let us relax for a minute, take a break from the bowling, the playing. Um, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I could run around this friggin' theater all night. Um, my fiancé may not love it, but... You can even hear, like, the lift. <laughs> but I mean, man... So when you start, you start with a lot of knockout cabinets just to show you the artwork, things like that. Uh, you kind of get to do your own stuff with it. Um, I love the little Pac-Man marquee up there, though. That thing is badass. Um, and again, this is one of these labors of love. The more you put into this, the more you're going to get out of it, guys. Um, like I said, me personally, I'm already going to end up putting in a rampage. I, I want to say I want to put in Magic Sword. Um, it wasn't originally one of my favorites, but it grew on me because I used to... I'm like a walking cliche of the 80s here. To, I don't know if I want to tell you all now. I don't know if I want to tell you all, because you're going to laugh at me. Um, fuck it, I'll tell you. Um, I used to go to a roller skating rink. Yeah. Um, because at the time, I tried to pick up women there, and on top of it, uh, I was not too shabby. Yes, you Oh yeah, I forgot. You can't crash in this one. 
Although I should have warned you, I was never good at this one. You know why? Because it's a... Yeah, baby. Better than I've ever done on a driving test, y'all. Alright, uh... <laughs> Henry the Eighth, I am. Henry the Eighth, I am. I am. Alright. Eat it. Eat it. You son of a bitch. The Power of Retro Games. We're bringing this shit home, baby. I did not know I could just shoot those. Well, that's easy, isn't it? God, talk about helpful. Oh, no! My insurance is not going to cover that! I have buggy insurance? What the hell y'all doing to me? Um, no, I mean, guys... I feel like a kid again right now. And for an old-ass man like me. And I know you're like, oh, Bones, you're not that old. Um... I'll give y'all a hint. I was an 80s kid, alright? I was born in the late 70s, 77, so I am 40. So I've been around for some shit. Um, but the one thing that never changed was my love for those games and, and arcades. I still love them. I think we're done with this one because I'm just eating it with that today. Speaking of eating it, uh, we had pizza yesterday, actually. Around here, uh, me, Gary, Shelly, all of us did. Uh, speaking of which, look for some new stuff. With those two coming up real soon. And a new intro for the actual channel, guys. Um, and do make sure to uh, let your friends know about us, all that good stuff. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, actually. I'm just I'm throwing stuff around. Um, you know, everything just feels alive here, you know? Everything feels fun. Everything feels... Oh, now I remember this one a little. Gotta pick him, because that's that used to be the dude I'd play. We're going with round one in the penis shape shift, and don't tell me it's not, because it totally looks like a penis. Hi! Ah. It's time for the ass whooping. As Sid Haig says, we're gonna start the killing. We're gonna start it right here. I was supposed to meet Mr. Sig Haig. I told you all in another video. I went to the Astronomicon in Detroit where I met Mr. Hodder and Kevin Nash and uh, actually Bill Mosley and some other fine people. Sig Haig couldn't make it. However, I did meet Jason Mews. He was one of the nicest celebrities I've ever met. And uh, Mr. Kane Hodder was great. Um, super, super polite. Um, very gracious person, thanked me when I complimented him on his uh, being my favorite Jason, which he is. Um, as I've explained it to other people who don't get why I like him as much. Jason was a guy in a mask. Kane Hodder turned him from a guy in a mask into a character. Into a persona. You know, the head tilts, the uh, stance, the certain way he'd cock his head, turn, breathing. The way he would amp up what he did, um, he felt dangerous when he played Jason. Anyways, Alien Syndrome, a little underrated title here. It's a simple run and gun, but sometimes those are fun, man. Um, and again, let's talk here. Now, say you like the game, you don't like the cabinet. Say you like all of that, you don't like the attract video. You can change every bit of this shit. You can change your button color, guys. The art, the stuff you can do, it's amazing. Amazing. Um, you guys want... <laughs> I ate it so bad there. I really need to practice more before trying to show you all of this. So yeah, here, my plan is to make this puppy here um, into Rampage. Of course, the Packers gotta stay, the Packer man. I uh, love Joust, but I love a few other 80s ones more, and I'm thinking Donkey Kong is going to go there. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? What are your recommendations? Um, what would you change in your own arcade? What would your, like, here, here's a good one for the comment section. Drop in the comments your top five arcade games of all time. What would you slap in your arcade? What would you put in there? 
Um, and also, pick this up and then you can. Genius. Then you ain't got to worry about just, you know, oh, I might. Um, I guess sky's the limit with this stuff. Um, which, again, I've never seen anything like this. I'm a classic. And mind you, I have not played Ryu in a while. I have not played... I guess I haven't played 2 in a while, so I'm trying to remember... No, that's... God, I'm horrible with this. I really do need to get better with the controls here, but... I'm trying not to button mash, guys. I will say one thing I did learn about fighting games, though, and this is good advice. A lot of people in Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat jump a lot to get to the character. Don't do that. Jumping leaves you open. Um, I say that as I jumped like how last round, but I'm trying not to. Baka gets cheap with the sweeps, though. He does. Can we agree on that? Blanca's strength is you can't get close to Blanca. Because he is an asshole about that. And he will do the alley in your ass and make you regret it. Oh, I was hoping my uppercut would connect. There we Shit. Come on now, baby. That was a double kill. Double kill. I can't believe that that happened. I, I normally do not suck this bed right. But again, guys, it's been a while. So, you know. Bear with me here, right? Um, probably not representing my peeps here good when it comes down to comes down to playing this, but we're just having fun. Again, though, I want you to pay attention. Pay attention to all this and understand that what we're what you're getting when you get this is a means to an end to create the arcade you've always wanted. And that's how it starts. Um, you get a means to customize movies to watch in here. A means to customize dun dun dun. Uh, what's that read for madness there? It means a customer. I think this is a. Let's see, GK, it's Menos. The worst movie ever made. I don't care what other movie you say is. Menos is the one. Um, but Mystery Science Theater 3000 version makes it actually watchable. Barely, but it does. Um, no, so th these are different little tidbits, fun things you can do. And I hope that you guys will continue to watch this little journey with me because tomorrow we will be visiting the bigger arcade. Um, we're going to do some stuff with that. I'm uh, going to show you guys some of the other games. Um, might see about sprucing it up and. and uh, I don't know if I will have had time or not, but if I have, maybe Rampage will be in here tomorrow. I'll see. It's going to take a little work, a little finagling, but uh, I'd like to get that in to show you guys how all that works. Um, because it it is, man, this is something. I don't think I have been this excited for a game since Skyrim, alright? What am I doing? You avoid the cards, you genius. I'm thinking of that one where you, uh, I'm thinking of the upper part of Frogger right here, where you gotta hop on the logs. Oh god, no! Turtle! Turtle, you betrayed me. Why would you do that, you son of a bitch? Alright, so let's have a breather there. I will say this. Do not rush. Do not rush. Um... As I just did, when I told you not to. And I see why, right? Arknoid is a huge favorite of people. Um, I myself like too that they would have the... There we go. Let's see some of this in here, shall we, guys? Kind of an interesting game Arknoid was, wasn't it, guys? Because it's a pedal game, like Pong, that they somehow sold it to us. Is like, this isn't Pong, because there are power-ups, and we were like, oh, we're so okay with that. 
And I'm people a son of a bitch. Um, I, I should have forewarned you. I suck at our friend. I look like I suck at all these, but also understand I am trying to show you guys these uh, on the entire arcade right now more than I am focusing on saying one particular thing. I'm trying to show you tons of stuff, so. Um, but no, so there's a lot to do, a lot to see. And just think, oh, this, and this is just a smaller one, you know. Um, I would actually put in one of the MS2K things, but uh, I don't want to use up my fair use in this video. I know you have like 10 minutes of fair use in a YouTube video. Um, I don't have to worry so much about Tongue Fury, because I'm going to slap that in the description as well. Uh, also, so that, you know, if you get this, you can use it in your own arcade. Uh, because it's a lot of fun. It is. We're going to make the tape dance. And we're going to throw the tape as well. Oh, did I land that in the... Man, I'm good. If only I could throw a dirt that could, right? Uh, we got a 28th there. Oh, I feel like I, I cheaped that. But look at that, guys. Look at that. By the way, I totally cheaped that. I did cheat that. You saw I cheaped that. I'm not going to lie about it. Come on, baby. You got any more darts over here? Oh, yeah? <laughs> There's my two dart. And that did nothing. That did not help, because that is not a dart. Uh, but no, so I mean, there's some fun things in here to do, uh, even just by default, you all, uh, start, no matter what you choose for your arcade, you, you guys get the Rift Basketball, you guys get the Bowling, uh, on the bigger one there that you will see tomorrow during that feature, you guys get the, uh, Whack-A-Mole type game, and the Ski Ball as well. You guys get a personal theater uh, on this one. It's a smaller personal theater, but it's a personal theater. Wizards used to have an area where uh, they had a jukebox. Instead of a jukebox here, we got a beatbox. But again, that is also just included, no matter what you decide to do. And say so you're like, oh, I'm afraid to do all the programming, and uh, I don't know if I'll be good. Um, I'll show you guys in a video like I said, I'm going to do a video just about it. How easily done just even slapping like a few tapes in here is. Um, we'll do some cassette tapes and I'll show you. I'll show you uh, kind of what an overview of your arcade looks like. We'll talk about some of the different parts. Um, maybe we'll change a poster and something or else I can show you that. Um, yeah, maybe we'll put up the Monster Squad poster together when I do that video. God. I'm horrible at this stuff tonight. I'll be better tomorrow. I'll have some sleep in me. Yeah, that's it. It's asleep. It's, it's, it's not entirely asleep. It's about me, too. Um... But no, like I said, you know, for the the amount this is, uh, what you get is a ton. Because you're not thinking half the time of the possibility of, oh my god, a friend can join me and do this? So imagine playing this with Buddy, and you guys decide to race in this, you know, or do a two-player K game together, or watch a movie together, um... Now make sure you read the store page that will show you what multiplayer allows and doesn't allow. Um, but basically, even just as a place for you and your friends to hang out, and watch stuff, listen to music, talk and goof around and throw, throw shit around and be goofy, guys, you cannot beat that for the price, honestly. Um, this thing is incredible, man. Incredible. And as... <laughs> i tell you now, I, myself, Shelly, um, we'll be spending a lot of time here. As will Gary. Uh, we'll be spending some time here in between our Let's Plays. This is now our official relaxation area. 
This is our little therapy room after a long day. I mean, an arcade like this shows you what software can do that a physical thing can't. And that is put something giant in a small space. But what this game does so well is it makes it feel giant. It makes it feel huge. Um, and I know you're going, well, that's a small room you're in. But realize what you're saying. It's a room I'm in. See? It feels like a room. And that's my point. It doesn't feel like, oh, a, a menu of just clickable games. It doesn't feel like, oh, this is just this and this and a few things slapped together. This is obviously lovingly done with great attention to those of us out there who keep the arcades going, who keep sinking quarters into this day. We still visit Chuck E. Cheese despite the god awful pizza. Sorry, Chuck E. Cheese, but I'm real here. Because we want that experience. Now you can have that experience without wasting a bunch of money. And I know you're like, well, I'm still gonna buy it. Yeah, but let's be honest here. Nowadays, most games are 50 cents. If you do the math on how much money you spend in an arcade, this is the cheaper option by far. It's customizable. Have all your own favorite things in here. Make this what you want to make it. And enjoy yourself with you and your friends, man. Enjoy yourself with you and your friends. Uh, I really want to thank you guys. And I also want to thank the devs who uh, definitely, definitely huge help with everything. Super friendly. Support devs like this, guys, who give a shit about us gamers. Who go out of their way to help. Who go out of their way to answer questions. Uh, I had a few simple questions just about getting the uh, VHS tapes done, and they were handled. Um, and I, I mean, I asked some stupid dumb questions uh, that were probably in the guide, and rather than be like, you dumbass, you know, the dad was super nice, still helped me out, and uh, was nice enough to make sure that I did uh, what I needed to do to get this to be the way I wanted it. Um, is this done? No. Which I think is the other fascinating and fun thing about it. This can be a work in progress as long as <laughs> totally. Uh, let, let's raise your hand here. How many of you actually played Paperboy the right way the first time you played it? And how many of you used to break the shit out of things in Paperboy? Don't lie. Don't lie. All of us used to break shit in Paperboy. Um, but, and if you say you don't, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Although, I don't know. Maybe I should. Maybe, maybe I was just a mischievous little son of a bitch. That's probably it. But whether or not I was, and I was... That is, well, it is here or there. It's, uh, you kid, don't try to fuck with me. Oh, the break dancer, I forgot about the break. Dude, I'm breaking the windows so bad. Come on, people. That is clearly illegal to fight your guy like that. Um, but no, I mean, I, I, I used to always. Oh my god! Whoa. I swear to you, I'm not this bad at driving a bike in real life. Um, actually, my bike is pretty badass. I think I will, I will have to show you all one day. I do have a bike because I think everybody, whether you have a car or not, should at least keep a bike um, for emergencies. You never know. Your, your car breaks down. You need to go pick something up. Uh, get up off your ass and ride a bike. If you don't know how to ride a bike, learn to ride a bike. You should Learn to ride a bike. Um, oh! Burglar, burglar! I missed him. I remember you used to get some decent points. Oh god! Man, I ate that. Get for fuck, I was a quiz. I like. Look at the picture there. The quote He was a real loser. Well, thanks. That's charming. Um, no, but I mean, that's, that's just. Man, 
But I mean, alright, now let's take a look here. Look at the cabinet work here, guys. Just amazingly well done. Um, and what's cool is that, like I said, you can change it. So you want a custom. Say you have a favorite game. Say like, uh, alright, say Street Fighter 2, your all-time favorite. You want a custom one. Say you want one with your name on it. You can do that. Like if your name is like uh, Steve, you know, Street Fighter 2 Steve Edition. You can do that on the side. You can change the art like that. I've never seen that option on anything else. Anything else. Say you got some stuff on your computer, some movies that you got like the digital uh, copies of, da 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 da, because you know a lot of Blu rays now also come with digital copies of uh, the movie as well, stuff like that. You pull them off on your computer. That didn't sound right either. I made my jokes tonight. Uh, anyways, so you can set them up, make them VHS tapes, watch them. Um, like I said before, the neon. Uh, Instead of the classic, has a nice big movie screen. It has a great sort of hue to it. It to me makes everything. That is my favorite mystery. Since the 3000 episode, it's a big house favorite. And I'm going to recommend it to you before I go. It is called Horrors of Spider Island. If you have not seen it, you got to see the mystery since the 2000 one. It's all over YouTube. Um, just look it up on your own. I'm not going to link into that. I don't think I can legally, so. Um, or, you know, do the totally good Samaritan thing and actually purchase the video. It would be the right thing to do, guys. Um, in any case, I have a whole Mystery Sense Theater uh, collection, so. But of course I do, because I'm a huge fan. Um, it's not a coincidence that we have two puppets on our channel. Think about it. And we have more coming that will be on our channel. Uh, at least one more that I know of, but Gary has mentioned maybe two, so we'll see. Anyways, uh, and then when you're ready, you'll pick up the light gun. You'll click this. You have some other options in here. And customize and this is like when you're playing with your friends you want to see stuff ah, let's go back here uh, but we're gonna pick something now we want to pick guys look at 1980s cap is pretty cool rainbows that used to be a lot more chill back in the day people didn't freak out if you had them um, that's a kind of cool one eh so no I mean they, they got some cool stuff here I don't even know. As you all know if you watch this channel, I am a hat person by far. Um, I'm just trying to decide in chat. I like the look of. Maybe that one, eh? What do you guys think? Yeah, we're gonna go with that one. Alright, so. And there are also lots of other options if the games are playing too fast or slow. You can mess with things uh, that will alter that um, in here without needing to exit. Um, so that's kind of cool too. Anyways, on behalf of Diet Puppy, uh, this wonderful studio, me, all of us here at Bones and Gary, Digital Cyber Cherries. Uh, we would like to, you know, say you, you should definitely be checking this out. Um, if this is not in your library, look, it, it, there's a CS Go game every day in the year. You know what there isn't every year? Your own arcade! Get this shit. Alright, that said, look for part two in this series tomorrow. I am Bones, thank you guys so much for spending some time with us. We have had an absolute blast playing this. Um, I, I don't even know what else to say, just... Look, if this was a pizza, this would, mwah, would be a great pizza. It's a game, mwah, it's a great, it's a great arcade. Uh, it's not just a game, it is an arcade, it is... 
I could uh, make this what I want, and I'm super excited to keep tweaking this in the future and keep messing with it and keep changing things until this is every single thing that I wanted in an arcade in one place. And that is the beauty of this, in a nutshell. This thing gives you so many tools to do that, and the community is so nice that they have an art subsection. I said that again, I want to go over it one last time though. Uh, everybody on the Discord channel has been so massively nice, just unbelievably helpful. I haven't seen a community that's non-toxic in ages, so I've seen plenty of toxic communities. <laughs> Rust. I haven't seen one that's been this helpful. And I can't tell you one. Um, this is definitely a recommended must-buy. I'm going to link you below. Check it out. I'm also going to link you for checking out the videos, guys, and I'll put it in the other two, too. The link to Kung Fury itself, which will be featured in the other ones. Um, so that way you can add it to your own arcade when you get it and start to set it up. Make it a VHS to throw in there. Hilarious. It's a, like a half an hour long movie. Um, anyways, I have been Bones. If you like this video, please subscribe, give us a like, drop in the comments. I want to know your five favorite arcade games. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll throw one in my arcade if I like it enough. You might, you might help me with one I don't know. Uh, alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have an awesome night. And we will be back with more. We got two more in the series. Next one is the bigger arcade, then the editor. We're going to show you just how easy it is to actually do some of this stuff. It's not as daunting as you'd think. I, I was a little intimidated. But I've not had to program anything today. I have pretty much dragged and dropped some stuff in here and already, you know, have nine or ten VHS tape movies in here within, I think, five to ten minutes. It wasn't that bad. Um, so yeah. Anyways. So I'm out. Thank you guys so much for watching. It has been a blast. I'm super excited to show you guys the other arcade tomorrow. Because if you're going nuts over this one, you will go freaking ballistic over the other one too. Uh, so have a great night. I'm out.